just for you. Behold your resting place for eternity. <laughs> about you but Halloween is just a fun time to express myself and I decided that I'm going to go punk this year and by punk I mean steampunk. Welcome to Nylon's Rock Halloween edition. <laughs> this is my first time ever wearing a steampunk costume however sometimes I feel my Fashion can be inspired by steampunk because I do enjoy bustle skirts. I like waistcoats. I enjoy layering, lace, white frills, all of that good stuff. And you can't forget the goggles on the hat. I haven't really done that one before. So I'm actually pretty excited about this because I think steampunk is hot. So what is steampunk, you ask? It's actually pretty complex to understand and to explain. So I'm going to try my best. I have notes because that's how I have to do all of this. To my understanding, steampunk is a fictional subculture and it celebrates itself by expressing the Victorian... I'm reading my notes. <laughs> a Victorian retro futuristic subculture so it's pretty much based on the technology of that time but as that evolved it's become a art it's become fashion it's become music it's become a whole culture of science fiction based on the past opposed to science fiction that is usually based on futuristic things. So it's something to think about, but it is so cool. If you've ever seen the gears, that is a very common staple in steampunk culture and traditions. I'd love to sit and talk about steampunk all day long, but we have panios to talk about too. So, as you can tell, I am not dressed in my Halloween outfit just yet. But I will be after the unboxing. I'm going to show you all my little trinkets that I got from Spirit Halloween, which is a Halloween store here in Canada. It could be in the US and other places too. I don't know. Is it? Is it in the US? I've been three times and spent lots and lots of money. Oh goodness, it's a lot of fun. It's good times. It really is good times. Why don't I show you some of these awesome little trinkets that I have here. All my accessories I got at Spirit Halloween, except for two pairs of panios. Yeah, everything else is all Spirit Halloween. All right. Alrighty, well, let's get out of this and into some little more punk. Ooh. Oh, this is my little dress that I got from Spirit Halloween. It is a size small, so size six to eight. There's too much light. Too much light. There we go. So what I really like about this dress is it does feel like it's well made. It's got really cute details. The coloring is surprisingly something that I like. So I love how the collar kind of tucks around, but then it gives you this opening at the neckline, the little puffy sleeves. With a simple rope tie over here and that corset look with the buckles. And then of course you have also the bustling over here. These remind me of garter belts and it's just a really sweet dress and I really like the burgundy with the brown and then the white kind of detailing. Why don't we check out all the accessories? I got lots. The first one over here is a steampunk eye mask. It was $16.99. It's actually really pretty. It's 
it's not that easy to see through it's kind of smushing up on my face oh <laughs> there's a twist tie on it that's why that was weird okay yes now so it kind of blocks one eye here and then one eye is open it's kind of tight up against my face my false eyelashes poking through it's it's kind of hard to open and close my eyes so as cute as this is, it's probably not going to be something that you can wear all night long, unless you're not wearing eyelashes. I think that's where the problem was coming. The eyelashes were pressing up against this type of lacy mesh that they have over that eye. It's really pretty. I think that I can take some really awesome photos in this little mask. Uh, steampunk finger rings. Should be on the oh, here it is. <laughs> See how organized I am? That I think will look really cute when I put all of them on. Isn't that cool? It's intricate. Steampunk is very much about detail, design. It's not about simplicity like we are used to in the modern world now. But it is really cool. The fashion is amazing. I have another ring that I bought too. Well, this is for men, but I decided that I need to uh, buy this even if it doesn't fit me, just because it is literally the coolest ring ever but it doesn't fit so this was 13 dollars this is all canadian it doesn't fit but it's really cool i can use it in some photos she found a twist tie this cat is addicted to twist ties i don't get it okay so here these are gonna be steampunk shoe covers Nala. ruin my pantyhose. No, 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 no. Why do they do this to us? Oh, you're so cute. So these are the shoe covers. These were $12.99. I'm going to put these over my shoes and hopefully they fit and lay properly. We'll have to see. But to give you a closer look, there they are again are those awesome Gears, along with the brown paisley with a beautiful little brown ribbon that ties at the back so these are going to be paired with these so hopefully it fits and it looks okay so just to be clear with this costume it included the dress some gloves a hat but I just did not like the quality of this at all compared to the other accessories that you could buy instead. These are the little gloves. Like, the gloves aren't too bad. And then the goggles actually... Mm. The goggles are okay. This is the hat that I got with these goggles and I thought that this was just a little bit more um, authentic. This was $31.99 Canadian. $74.99 for this dress and then I added another $30 for the hat. So these are actually pretty exciting to me. Little gloves. They have very sweet intricate detailing to them so i am looking forward to them i just hope they fit 16.99 there's a lot of plastic all right so i have little tiny hands so i hope these aren't too big for me so there's a velcro piece here you've got some nice little leather detailing with that gorgeous like beige lace i love it and it's an open open fingers or cut off fingers oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh look at that <laughs> i hate to say this but it fits like a glove 
But look at that, isn't that gorgeous? I think this is probably my favorite purchase right now. $17, because I can wear these with like a rocker outfit. I could wear these with maybe even a biker outfit. So that's pretty cool. I'm excited about these. I'm gonna put them all on soon. Oh, wait, we got one last thing. We have the cane. So this is $31.99. So you can see how a $75 costume can easily turn into a $200 costume. I love it. The stuff is really well made. This is my little steampunk cane and he's my buddy. I like him a lot. So besides my accessories over here, I got a few different types of panniers to work with. So this is one that I was hiding from my cat earlier. The first pair I spoke about in my last video, and it's just this pair of Silka that I wore a few weeks ago. I didn't get this from a Halloween store or anything, just online. I wanna try these guys on with this outfit because I think that this color matches this trim perfectly. You see that they have this beautiful design on both the front and the back. So it kind of gives an illusion of undergarments but I don't know this color is amazing and that they were really comfortable while I was wearing them so I'm excited to try this pair on I'm feeling high when I'm low I need it more when you're close to me close to me I'm feeling high when I'm this pair that I did get from Spirit Halloween, and it's called Gear Illusion Tights. They were $12.99. This is a size small medium, so it should fit anyone from 4.11 to 5.5, from 110 to 150 pounds. So it has a reinforced toe. It has this beautiful shade that has a little bit of a pink undertone, I think. The gears are printed on there. There's lots of gears. And then there is a reinforced kind of like a control top, nothing crazy. And then we have a traditional waistband at the top. I'm excited to try these on. I suspect when I put them on, I have to do it pretty gently so that the gears don't lose their round shape. So I wasn't gentle enough.
And then what I got here is a pair of crochet thigh highs, guys. Don't cringe, don't cringe. But I thought, okay, $16.99. They were so cute and it just totally reminded me of the Wild Wild West. So I was like, I'm all in. They look interesting. They got the little buttons, they're so cute. last pair over here is a pair that, oh no, I have cat hair all over. Okay, I'm gonna have to deal with this. <sighs> Why do I have white cats? I don't know. These came in the mail for me and I don't know who they're from. Something from my Amazon wish list that somebody so graciously purchased and sent to me. Whoever it's from, thank you so much. It's a set of six fishnet style, but they appear to be stockings because it has the makeshift garter here. So when I put these on, I think that they're gonna really look good. I hate it. I have to shave my cat. And he's gonna look so funny soon. And then this will be the last pair of panties that I try on. So, let's get to it. I'm feeling how when I'm low, I need it more when you're close to me. Thank you so much for joining me on this Halloween edition and you have